my new driver head has arrived. I can't wait to hit it. We need to get a shaft in it. I haven't got much time. I've got to get home. I want to make this video very exciting. It's like I've just started golf again. What a bargain this thing was. Let's do it. relatively nervous. Oh, that's a bullet. Chase. Oh, she's not gonna go, is she? She's not gonna go. Guys, how you doing? Welcome back to a brand new video. It's Simon down here at Burford Golf Club. It's so wet in England at the moment. It's silly how much rain we've had. Um, so the majority of courses at the moment are closed, which means I can't actually go and practice at all on the golf course because I do want to course vlog left-handed just to give us a baseline of where I'm at. However, new driver has arrived and I want to talk to you why I got it, how much I got it for and um, why I'm quite excited and then obviously let's see how far I hit it, see what my left hand driver swing looks like and then hopefully in a year's time we get to see where it is as well. If you wouldn't mind leaving this video a like, please do subscribe if you are new and let's go and have a look. I'm a new driver. So I haven't got much time. Like I said in my intro, I should already be on my way home. So Mary, if you're watching this, darling, I'm already on my way home, not making another video. Um, but my new driver head has just arrived. I've got it off eBay, of course. Um, and I got it for £75 with £7 delivery. So I think it cost me £82 in general. Um, just for the head. So I didn't have a shaft, but I had a shaft in mind already. Obviously left-handed. I'm just getting it out now. Brand new, never been hit. Obviously, hopefully it's got no marks on it whatsoever. And I think we are good. There we have it. M4 in the seal, in the wrapper, with the left-handed adapter as well, because oh, well, I'll talk about that in a second. Obviously, left-hand and right-hand adapters are different. Um, so obviously, don't get that mixed up. In the wrapper. Never been hit, ready to be skied at any second. Now I'm going to be putting um, Araldite quick set glue to the test here because realistically this needs to set in the next 15 minutes so I can hit it and obviously get home. Um, uh, but 9.5 M4 head. Now you might be asking, Simon, why did you go for this? Generally, I just like the look of the head shape and design. It's as good in terms of ball speed as anything out there on the market. I did like the twist face when it came out. Now I never upgraded from, this is the newest driver head I've got in the bag actually. I've had the 2017 M2 head in the bag since well, 2017 um, and I haven't upgraded my driver since. Um, so this is the newest edition or the most up to date driver I've had since then. Um, and twist face when I hit it, when it first came out and reviewed it and tested it. For me, someone that hits quite a snappy hook, I felt it worked. Now, how much that makes a difference to your average golfer or my left hand swing, zilch. Because my club face with my left hand swing is going to vary between 8 degrees open and 8 degrees closed between swing to swing because it's just not consistent enough. The main reason I like this head is because A, Taylor made make good heads. There's no question about it. Yes, they do charge for it even though they brought the prices down this year, which I thought was a good move. Um, uh, they make good wood heads. There's no question about it. Not massively keen on the bottom of the driver. The M3 look better. However, the M3 is not suited for my swing. I want ultra forgiveness because obviously it's a very new swing. Um, and that is why having an M4 or an M6 or an M2 would be preferable. It's the same as getting a Rogue um, or a Maverick instead of the Epic. But the main reason I wanted this is because it was £75 for something that was £400 two years ago. In the wrapper, never been hit, so I know that it hasn't had 2,000 hits in a simulator or been fitted with, um, so it should stand a good test of time, and I'm obviously not going to lose my money, but I've got a shaft, I've got an opt the optimal shaft to go in this head, um, uh, because I've already been fitted for that shaft, it potentially is too stiff for my swing at the moment, but won't be in the future, and mainly it's just going to look badass, there's no question about it, when I put this combination together. So... Let's go and put the shaft into this, let it dry. I'm going to hit a few seven irons to warm up with, wrap this up, hopefully get a course vlog soon. 
Yeah, let's do it. Someone asked me the other day on Instagram, I can't remember who it is, I will get back to you, but if anyone wants to know, this is the Arrow Diet that I use. I think we just get it off Amazon, to be perfectly honest. Five minutes, well, we're gonna be putting that to the test, there's no question about that. But anyway, that's the glue I use. Thank you. Okay, and place nice and gently. Epic looking driver for £130 in total. If anyone watched my video on the driver that I got fitted for in the first place when I was like uh, 20, I think, this shaft I think cost me about 200 quid because it is an upmarket shaft. Uh, now you can probably go on eBay for about 50 quid. Head obviously I've got for 80 quid. So 130 for this combination left-handed and it looks sick is it going to be good for me we'll find out obviously x stiff very heavy not great for me now but obviously in the progression of two months hopefully my club head speeds up to around 110 miles an hour left-handed which kind of then gets into this nine and a half degree head obviously no adjustable weighting because i don't need that um and yeah i've got it at standard loft at the moment We've already had three minutes of it drying. I'm gonna warm up with some seven irons just to give it a tiny bit more. We're gonna take the wrapper off and then we're gonna give it a hit. But, but yeah, overall, really happy with how this has turned out. I will be re-gripping it because it's just got our old um, Golf Pride Tour Velvet on it. But um, uh, it'd be interesting to see how far I hit this and then uh, in the future how far it then will go. Obviously we get progression on my clubhead speed which I'm definitely gonna be documenting very soon. But let me know your thoughts. Goodbye or not a good bye. Let's hit some left-handed shots. Oh yeah, I don't think I mentioned this is my break 80 in a year challenge, otherwise a thousand pounds donated to charity. If you're new to the channel and you don't know what I'm actually talking about uh, and why I've got this driver, but that's a quick roundup. Anyway, new irons. Go and check out my last video. Ridiculous blades. Let's hit it. Warm up complete suspect swings right there. Wow, that's bright. Nice. Let's see if it's dried. Let's see if I'm a half decent club build. Oh, I just glued a shaft into a hair. It's not really club building. Anyway, let's see if it stays on, more importantly. This is the face of any assistant pro checking whether the glue has set on a golf club that they've put together. Starts off like this. Okay. I think we're all right. I think that is pretty much, even if I give it a, okay, that's not moving. All right, so I'm running a bit low on time, so we're not gonna hit many of these. I promise to do um, more of a test, or let's say, well, course one would probably be best. But anyway, it's set, it's ready to be hit. I'm gonna take the wrapper off and then unedited, show the first ever left-handed driver swing in this series. I haven't hit a left-handed driver, not before, I have before, but not for um, a year or in this series. So hopefully I don't sky it, could you imagine? Just like massive roof mark down the middle of it. Um, so hopefully I don't sky it um, and let's see how far it goes. And um, we'll do more of a comprehensive thing on this in the future, but otherwise, um, yeah, I'm just excited to give it a hit. So let's do this. Here goes nothing. I am actually relatively nervous about how this is gonna go. But there it is in all its glory. Hopefully everything focuses because we can't take this again. Right. First swing, you can't see, but we've got the computer behind us, so I've got to make sure I don't hit that left hand. It looks unbelievable. Down by the ball. Really happy with the way this has turned out, but oh my god, this feels next level. This feels, um, uh, okay. Let's give it a hit. Let's find out what we can produce and see where this goes. I'm going to just move the monitor. Tiny bit, just make sure it's actually straight. Ah, oh, mess it all up now. Mess it all up now, boom, we're ready. Okay, here goes nothing. Find the middle, oh my God, that's so open. 
All right. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Destroyed the cable. Didn't destroy it, came unconnected. What a fail! That literally couldn't have gone worse. Let me just explain quickly what went wrong and let's give some a hit. So obviously when it's left-handed, we have to use this extended cable to get the machine to connect to the screen all the way around. But stupidly, I tried to put it in the mat here. Too close to the cable, hit the cable. I've got the T-claw out now, so obviously I can stand further away from it. One idiot. Okay, here we go. Hasn't gone further than my seven iron. Head still on, that is a win. Right, here we go. Oh my God, I actually hit the middle of the face that time. Oh my God, I hit one straight. And that was toey. Ooh, that's pathetic. <laughs> head still on. We're winning. Oh, I hit that heavy as well. That was a real test. That was a real, well, the glue's worked because that was four inches behind the ball. Oh, twist face didn't work there, did it? Okay, what do I do right-handed? Got a bit of that going on. Okay, that's more like it. Oh, power fade. Power fade. Oh, dear. Hacker central. Oh, that was guys. Did we damage the goods? Okay, I think we're still alright. Get going. How far is that? Ugh. My personal best. Actually got through that. Actually got through that. Get up. Go on. Keep going. Okay. 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 Got something. 250. Here we go. Come on. Oh, okay. Oh, no, stay on the grid. Stay on the grid. She might have been the one. Might have been the one. Ugh. High toe, that could have been good as well. Go forward! Oh, no, I didn't read it. How did it not read it? <laughs> Chase. Oh, she's not going to go, is she? She's not going to go. Ugh. Okay, T-claw is very much broken. We're going to call it a day there. We've got a lot of work. Massively steep, massively over the top, massively uncontrolled, club face all over the place. It's obviously the hardest club in the bag to hit for a reason. It's just long, low lofted. However, there's some promising signs in terms of club head speed and ball speed. We just need to tighten it all up. Let me just quickly show you. So max ball speed I got from one of them, can't remember which, 142. So 142 on good launch and good spin should go 280 yards or 265, 270. So that's good. However, max drive I did get is 239. So launching it too low, spinning it too much, out the middle, out the toe, out the heel, all over the place, too steep. Got some ridiculously high backspin shots that, oh, I mean, that doesn't even count, but 9,100, must have skied the hell out of it. <laughs> Needs a lot of work, but that's where we are at the moment. 239 is the number to beat, and then dispersion. That being said, drive ahead is still intact. Not many sky marks, or none visible anyway. Guys, thank you ever so much for watching this video. If you liked it, leave it a like, subscribe if you are new. Hopefully I can provide some better results next time round. Catch you guys later.